All right, what's up, guys? Um, so I've been playing around with DeepSeek because they're making the waves, the rounds around X, and um, yeah, pretty crazy. So DeepSeek is this new LLM AI company that pretty much crushed ChatGPT by all metrics with only $5 million in funding. Well, $4.1 million. Pretty crazy. Um, I'm going to give it to you in layman's terms on what I found, me playing around with it, and how it crushes ChatGPT by pretty much all standards. Um, never count out the Chinese. Never count out the Chinese. Uh, contrary to popular belief, I am not Chinese. Well, I'm Han Chinese ethnically, but um, family's from Taiwan. So I'm, I'm down to criticize Chinese companies. However, got to give credit where credit's due. So for the next couple minutes, let me eat creatine plus report my numbers from the day before. If you guys can't handle that, simply look away. Yeah, pretty crazy, guys. Pretty crazy. I think it's uh, it's time I stopped paying for ChatGPT. Here we go. So yesterday we did fifteen fifty in total revenue, down four hundred dollars from the day before. We have Amazon coming in at eight twenty, Miravana at eighty, and the adult revenue source at six fifty five. Let's get on with the episode. Won't beat around the bush. Sign up for the first link in the YouTube description. You guys sent the URL to this sheet, building public reference sheet. Um, today is episode four twenty eight, and we're going to talk about how DeepSea killed ChatGPT with only five million dollars. All right. So what is DeepSeek? It's an AI startup. And it's crazy. This hedge fund guy pulls up with 10K NVIDIA chips, raised $4.1 million. Four years later, or two years later, they blow up. $4.1 million early VC funding. Crazy. Crazy. A quant or a, a hedge fund invested in them as well. Probably in their seed fund, but the early stage VC was 4.1 million. Eh, eh. All right. I took some notes just based of what what I was finding. Um, I took a look at their API docs. Uh, also their open source, so you can take a look at their um their code base. So with all that said, um, I took a couple notes. Let's talk about it. Self hosting is the way to go. Probably it seems. Um, a lot of people are self-hosting on like Vulture or like shit like Hetzner. Um, get keep the cost down. Hosting like on your desktop is crazy. Like if you have like your own machine here, that's crazy. Uh, you won't have enough bandwidth. What I notice is DeepSeek is heavily censored. Probably a requirement if you're in deep tech in China. Um, so with that said. If you ask anything about Taiwanese independence, criticize Xi, ask about Tiananmen Square, clapped, won't, won't get anything out of it. However, if you're speaking pure performance, there's a couple of things like, you know how like, if you ask certain questions, ChatGPT gets it wrong. Like if you ask about uh, how many, R's are in strawberry or something like that. It'll sometimes get it wrong, even in the most recent thing, most recent, uh, most recent model, which is very odd. Um, there's certain questions you can ask ChatGPT, and they'll always get it wrong. But um, if you ask the same questions to DeepSeek, they'll get it right. And my favorite part is how they explain their steps, thinks through it like a human, and. Um, one thing I've more, I'm more curious about is how to bypass AI detectors, right? As like a writer, so I was able to get bypass AI detectors via five reprompts. Um, let's talk about it. All right. So first off, started with <laughs> "fuck she," clapped. Are you censored? And then they're like avoiding it. Write two hundred a uh, thousand words about B two B sales. So one thing about uh, op uh, ChatGPT is if you are like write a thousand word article. They'll always go like 600 for some reason. If you write a thousand, this is a thousand. All right. So next up, what else do I have? 
do 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 humanize so AI can't detect this. I chuck this bitch into hum, uh, or, originality, 100% AI. I was like, this is messed up, man. What's wrong with you? And I was like, all right, let's just stick with the first paragraph. This is taking too too long. Thought for nine seconds. Look look at how the way Deep Seek thinks about things. It's it's great. Let's tackle this. User wants first paragraph of the sales article to be humanized so detectors don't flag as AI generated. They have to understand how Texas AI uh, is detectable. Probably certain structure, formality, personal touch, fair. Looking at the first original first paragraph. Da -da -da. This is pretty formal. Let's break it down. Okay. Let's be honest. Da -da 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 -da. So I sent this. That was 80% AI. I was like, try again. Added a bunch. This is like weird. Um, they added some like weird rhetorical odd jokes. Really AI like. I was like, that was 100% AI. Now, this is the one that actually got to 100% human written. Maybe it's too polished. Personal anecdotes, hypothetical scenarios, use contraction, slang, maybe some humor. Sentence fragments and more relatable tone. Let's start with a relatable hook. Fair. Let's read it now, all right? Ever tried explaining cloud storage to someone who is still using a fax machine? Well, welcome to B2B sales where logic fights tradition. Budgets vanish into Q4 reviews and your best pitch dies in a 17-person Slack thread. That's interesting. It's not glamorous. You'll chase approvals from decision maker who's actually just an intern with fancy title. <laughs> You'll sweat over ROI spreadsheets while your contact goes to you for a wellness week. This is actually funny. But there's the thing. When you finally land the deal, when the CFO admits your software saved their dumpster fire workflow, it's better than caffeine. This guide, no fluff. Just real talk, surviving soul-crushing sales cycles, outsmarting competitors who undercut you, and convincing Karen from legal that yes, your contract is worth reading. Let's go. That's pretty damn good. I don't know if, uh, so I've, I've been trying this, this the exact step in ChatGPT and it will never get to a certain percent. I think personally, there's some footprinting in ChatGPT and Claude and so on and so forth. And I think with DeepSeek, there isn't. So yeah. TLDR, heavily censored, smarter than ChatGPT. Um, seems like there's no footprinting with like content generation. So you guys should probably look into this for AI content. And last but not least, I want to say cheaper, cheaper. That's why you guys care about, right? It's way cheaper. Um, and it's free right now. Chat.deepseek.com. Chat it's crazy. It's crazy. Anyways, if you guys like videos like this, comment Deep Seek for the YouTube algo. If you guys are looking for a web host, simplehost.so. Um, Jackie's PBN popping off. And turnithuman.com. Yes, I just showed you guys how to humanize. However, it, it, you can't humanize like massive articles. I just tried. It, it doesn't think through it like this. All right? It just spits it out like this. So it still has its limitations, but it was fun. It was fun. Guys, go play around with it. Uh, don't get stuck with ChatGPT. I give <laughs> Deep Seek probably like eight months before it gets banned in the U.S., like Zach said, in the Advise community. By the way, advise.so slash apply if you guys want to get into the private community, get it going, and I'll catch you guys on the flippity flip. Let me answer some questions from the day before. All righty. Thanks for the comments, guys. I'm speculating on the effect of CTR on local SEO with their recent algo update. Google might have brought click signals in line with web results, which are averaged over a 90 day window. That makes sense. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that's probably the case. Honestly, local SEO. Thank you. I have 10 client. I have a client with 10 locations in a city. How do I work with citations with that many locations? Each location needs to have its own landing page. So, Good luck.
probably get away with like 300 citations per location. I have a question regarding duplicating one well ranking local ranking red site. May I just duplicate the site to a new location with city adjustment? Um, I'd be careful about that. But yes, in, in theory, you can. Depends on if you have a GMB. GMBs make it so you can do anything. I'm seeing something similar works, but it's taking long for me too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. With great power comes. That's why. Thank you. Thank you. Having mixed results. Yes, sir. Thanks for sharing. Doesn't work anymore. Citations back are best friend. I'm seeing that, but I think it still works. You just have to do it for longer. CTR, thank you. Just cancel SERP and myself. Honestly, it made majority of my rankings worse. <laughs> That's funny. Sorry. Public CPRs don't work. Well, all IPs are known by Google. Probably SEO is dead. Not really. All right, guys. Catch you guys on the flip video flip. No episode tomorrow. I'm going fishing. Um, have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys Monday.